Hey, what's up you guys? It's Jessica and today we are doing another 360 degree virtual tour, this time of Busby Hall. And today I am joined by none other than... I am Carrie Campbell and I'm happy to be joining the famous Jessica Caver on a 360 tour. Yeah, we're so excited. Okay, so right now we're in Busby Hall. Busby Hall is a part of the East Campus Village community. So Carrie, tell me a little bit about some of the spots that are around Busby. Yeah, so Busby is, like Jessica said, on East Campus. So we are right next to Joe Frank Harris, which has the Village Summit um, Dining Hall. Mm -hmm. It also has um, it's kind of a bunch of little quick shops where you can buy kind of with cash or with pop points. Um, there's a sandwich place, there's a little convenience store, mm, um, yeah. lots of really good options in there. Um, we're also near the Ramsey Center for Student Activity, so you know, if you want to swim or run or work out or do the climbing wall, um, it's right by there. You can also easily walk to the intramural fields from here, so that's a great option if you um, want to join that intramural class. Team, yeah. or just go run out there, take a kayak out on Lake Herrick, oh, yeah. hang out at that pavilion in Lake Herrick where you can actually get the Wi Fi and mm -hmm. plug in. So it's a really great location. Yeah, it's really, really nice. People also love that the Oconee Greenway is right across the street. Yeah. So if you're someone who likes to walk out in nature, that is an option. You can also walk up the street to uh, some local restaurants, which is pretty nice. And the Hugh Hodgson School of Music and the Lamar Dodd School of Art is also over on this part of campus, in addition to the Georgia Museum of Art. So don't let anybody tell you that East Campus <laughs> is not happening, because it is a great, great spot. Yeah. Um, but right now, we are in the Busby Game Room. So this space is actually accessible to everybody in the East Campus Village community. You'll notice that there's a pool table. We've got um, some ping pong. We have foosball. There's also unisex bathrooms over there, and there is a community kitchen over here, which I'll show you. So this is a really cool space if students want to relax and hang out, um, or if they are wanting to have a program. So the resident assistants will often have programs in this space just to sort of get people out of their rooms, talking, getting to know each other, and relax, because students work hard in classes. So it's a really, really nice spot. So yes, now we're gonna walk over to the other part of Busby that is actually accessible only to Busby residents. You'll notice we've got some vending, so if you don't want to go out and get a snack that is available to you, you'll notice there's a beautiful breezeway here. We have, uh, that leads out to the other residence halls, McWhorter, Vandiver, Rooker, and then this leads out to the bus stop. Yeah, just right so nice. bus stop by the um, Ramsey Center parking deck, and this is the ECB quad. Yeah also another great programming space. So to gain access into the building, students do need to scan their card and then enter in a unique four-digit PIN code to be able to access the building. Right now we're going to walk first into the main lobby. We are on the first floor of Busby. Another great space. Look at all that light. I love that there's so much yeah. light that comes in here, especially whenever the weather is really nice. So Carrie, talk me through this little desk area. Yeah, so each... Um building in East Campus Village has a desk. So Rooker Hall is gonna have the main desk where if you've lost your key or your ID, you would go to Rooker to check that out. That's also where you get your mail. But these are kind of auxiliary desks in each building as well. Um, so we have those as an option. So you'll see some students working there from time to time. Um, yeah, and you can see high them. Yeah. The little security desk there. Yeah, so there are always 24-hour desks in uh, East Campus Village, the one for, or for all of our residence halls. And East Campus Village is going to be in Rooker, so there's always somebody here. There's always somebody on staff to be able to help with any concerns that students have. So now, let's go into the laundry room. Yep, so mm -hmm. laundry is included um, with your fee, so you do not need quarters, you do not need a debit card, you don't need to swipe anything. You just come in here. Bring your own laundry detergent, bring your own, you know, dryer sheets or fabric softener, whatever you need. They are high efficiency, um, so make sure you get the high efficiency uh, products for that. But just pop your stuff in the washer and go. Mm -hmm. um, make sure to set a timer so you're not that person that is taking up the washer or the dryer <laughs> yeah. um, and people are waiting on you. Uh, but we do have a couple of options for where you can go do laundry, so um, yeah. this is not the only laundry room. Yeah, make sure you bring your own detergent your own fabric softener. If you're somebody who uses dryer sheets or those wool dryer balls, you definitely want to bring those. And now we're going to walk up to the elevator. So Busby Hall has six floors. There is an elevator, don't worry. 
And we're gonna go up to the second floor to see a sample four bed, two bath apartment. But that's not the only style that's in this building. So Carrie, while we're going up the elevator, can you talk me through the types of rooms that are in Busby and the different options that are here? Yeah, so Busby, like um, Rooker, Vandiver, and McWhorter, has two, three, and four bedroom apartments. By far, the four bedroom is gonna be the most common. Mm -hmm. um, in addition, some of those apartments are gonna be expanded apartments, which is what we're gonna show you. Yeah. So expanded is just means that some of the rooms in that apartment are double occupancy and some are single occupancy. So we offered that initially a few years ago when we were renovating a building um, to first year students. And they loved having the option to have being an apartment so much mm -hmm. that we went ahead and continued to offer expanded as an option. Yeah. Now you'll notice on our right, there's a study room. So there's a lot of different community spaces in Busby, which is really nice. In addition to that game room we showed you, the laundry room, there's study lounges, there's a conference room, study lounge that we'll show you that's up on the sixth floor. Um, but also, if this is your first time watching one of our 360 tours, then uh, some of the lingo to get to know is double occupancy versus single occupancy. Double occupancy means that there's two beds in a physical bedroom. So in an apartment style, that would mean that there are two beds, two students, that are living in that particular bedroom. But because it's an apartment style room, that means that there's actually multiple bedrooms in the space. So we have uh, multiple bedrooms, multiple bathrooms, and it's kind of all in an enclosed space. And right now, we are coming up on our tour room. Get excited, drum roll. <laughs> I can't add a drum roll effect, but let's imagine there's one. Dun, so, dun, dun, dun. Before we start, I will say that um, we're showing this example room, but if you wanna see what your room layout is specific to your room, you can look that up on the housing website. If you just click on your building, and then look to the right, it'll say floor plan search, put in your room number, because um, not all the four bedrooms look the same, not all the three bedrooms look the same. There's mm -hmm. a lot of different layouts from this building and they all kind of fit together like a puzzle. Yeah, that's one of the cool things though too about the building is that it, the way it was designed was that, was that there's a lot of nuance, so it really feels cool to be in different spaces. And then if you go visit your friends, it'll be slightly different. So um, it's a little bit different than a standardized, like traditional space like Brumby Russell Creswell, which yeah. are pretty much the exact same. Yeah. So right now, as you can see, we're standing in the kitchen. So uh, this space is accessible to all of the residents in this apartment. It comes with a microwave, comes with a full-size refrigerator. We also have a lot of cabinet space so students can store their snacks, they can store their like long-term pantry items, that kind of stuff, sink. Um, we also have a closet back here that you can either serve as a linen closet or it could be a pantry, kind of just whatever students want to utilize it for. The door to the left is a maintenance closet. Um, but other things, you'll notice that there's not a stove or a oven. Um, those are not included in the kitchens, in the actual apartments. Um, so if students wanted to utilize the uh, stovetop or an oven, they would just need to go down to the community kitchen. But other appliances that are allowed in this space would be like a crock pot, an instant pot, um, in addition to, you know, microwave. So there's a lot of ways to cook food if a student isn't on meal plan. Um, but if they are, they're very conveniently located mm -hmm. right next to Village Summit. So now Carrie is standing in the living room area. So it comes with some bar stools. You can sort of study up here. You can have breakfast. Um, there is a couch, a side table, coffee table, armchair, and a TV stand. So all of this furniture is gonna come with the living room. But students are also able to bring additional furniture if they want to. So if they wanna have extra seating or maybe they want to have some fun potted plants, you know, they can really customize this space. And all of the furniture in this space is also movable. So you can move it around and kind of make it look exactly how you want. There's also a lot of great light that comes in from these windows. They're also, uh, you can open them, so you can let in a nice breeze whenever it's nice. Um, but overall, it's a really, really nice nice space. Yeah, and so um, this apartment has been cleaned, but maintenance hasn't been here yet. You may see command hooks on the ceiling. Those are a great option for hanging items. Um, so those will be gone when whoever yeah. <laughs> moves into this space um, comes. But yeah, do you wanna go see the bedrooms? Yeah, Just absolutely. Let's go to this one over here okay. first. We're going to show you the entire apartment. This is a four bed, two bath. So first we're coming in, this is the B bedroom. And this is an example of a single occupancy room. So that means only one resident is going to be living in this room. That means that there's going to be a full size bed, comes with a side table. There's a desk, a little pedestal, desk chair. We also have a um, dresser and then there is a closet that the student can utilize. You can also add additional, you know, 
fun storage hacks. There's a lot of great stuff on like Pinterest to how to customize that space and make it work. Um, but yeah, so this is going to be a single space and then we'll come over and we'll see this is an expanded space. So Carrie, walk me through what types of stuff come with a space like this one. Yeah, so um, initially all the expanded spaces had bunked beds, but we were hearing from students that they'd rather have the option to bunk them or not. So um, they're all individual beds now. You can bunk them if you want our, our staff to do that. Just put them in their work request and we can bunk them and you'd have a lot more space in here. Um, you can also raise these a little bit higher. They're the standard 17 position adjustable beds that we have, so they go up to about 60 inches clearance off the floor, two desks, two dressers, and there is one closet um, in here. So you can arrange this however you like, mm -hmm. um, whatever works for you. Yeah, and if you're super tight with your roommate and you're in an expanded space, there's nothing that says you can't bunk your bed if you wanted to get more space. The only thing is that you would just not be able to remove any of the furniture, so you just tuck the posts behind one of the beds yeah. and then you have even more space. Yeah. Um, typically though, the expanded rooms, the ones that get changed into two beds, are a little bit bigger. So, you know, you're not going to be in the same size room as this single with two beds, if that makes sense. So now we are going into, so we've got a sink. This is one bathroom on one side of the apartment. And then you'll notice that they're pretty standard bathroom stuff. Shower, toilet, towel rack, trash can, all that kind of stuff. A lot of times students will bring their own shower curtain because it's a cool way to be able to customize um, the decorations of that space. But there also are typically hooks that come with it, so um, you don't have to get that. Perfect. Responsible. All right, now we are on the other side. So see, same thing. We've got a, a sink on one side, shower, toilet, all that kind of stuff on that side. Here is another example of a single room. Now notice, see, the, the layout is just a little bit different because of the architecture of the building. So that's what Carrie was talking about. When you go and look at your floor plan for your apartment, um, or even looking at the floor plan of the entire building, you can see sort of how the different apartments line up. Um, you're definitely going to want to consult that before you start making any big purchases, just to make sure that everything works um, with, within your space. But yeah, so see, beautiful, love it, beautiful window, all that stuff. Now we're gonna go into another expanded space, and this room, see how the architecture is just a little bit different? So these students had their beds separated, one had it lofted, the other one didn't. Uh, that's also pretty common, you know, just depending on their roommates, what they prefer. But both residents will get a desk, desk chair, dresser uh, for both, and then they can organize the space however they would like, and then one closet to share. So, yeah, very nice. Also, uh, Wi-Fi is included. Don't worry about getting access to the internet. There will be uh, Wi-Fi that you can connect to with Pause Secure, which is our designated uh, Wi-Fi. I'm gonna leave that out all the lights. I'm gonna leave it like that. Sustainability. Yeah, sustainability. Okay, now we're gonna walk down the hallway one more time, and we're gonna go up to the sixth floor to show one of the other community spaces that's available in Busby. So if you're someone who maybe doesn't like uh, studying in their room, I know that's how I was when I was a student, I don't like studying in the same space that I sleep in, so I would always go somewhere. And Busby has a really cool uh, community space up on the sixth floor that's another option for students. But while we walk down this very long hallway, um, Carrie, talk me through uh, one of the unique features of the East Campus Village community is that the contracts are a little bit different than uh, other buildings. So walk me through what that means. Yeah, so students with expanded contracts, so if you're in an expanded space, will have a nine-month contract. So that's yeah. just be aware of that. But if you do choose to live here um, in a like in, in the future after this year, um, or if you are in a non-expanded space, then you may have a academic or a calendar year contract as opposed to an academic year contract, mm -hmm. which means that you, when you sign your contract, you're agreeing to pay that fee for fall, spring, and summer. Mm -hmm. So um, just keep that in mind. A lot of people want that option. Mm -hmm. You know, they want to stay here and take summer classes. If you've never taken a summer class, highly suggest mm -hmm. take that hard class <laughs> that you're dreading. Yeah. Because you can just do that one thing yeah. and concentrate on that. Um, yeah. But a lot of people also will have the calendar year contracts because they're planning on studying abroad for the summer. Mm -hmm. And that's a great reason to. Um, 
go ahead and cancel that contract. So if you have a legitimate reason, so a study abroad where you're getting credit, a um, internship where you're getting credit, then you can't actually cancel your summer portion of your contract. Or spring or fall, if you do it in those yeah. semesters. Um, so that's one great thing about living on campus too, is you have that option. Because um, yeah. we want you to study abroad, we want you to have those internships. Um, so we will not hold you back by making yeah. you to a contract. So it's like an escape clause. Yes. It's like built into your contract. Peace, I'm going to Italy. But yeah, peace, I'm going to Italy. That's how, you actually can check out the global education. Uh, department. Okay, now we're coming into one of the conference rooms, and we've got our dear friend Kendall. Hi, Kendall. <laughs> a real student in the wild. So here we are. We have a conference room. Uh, it's a beautiful place. Students can come in here and study. You can also have meetings here if you have a student organization, or um, if you just want to sort of hang out and have a nice bigger space to entertain people, then this is a good spot. So excellent work, Kendall. Looking great. <laughs> All right, beautiful. So we are going to walk back down to the first floor. Uh, any other things that you like particularly about Busby, Carrie? Um, I think the location is great. I love the little breezeway between yeah. um, that you kind of walk through. Um, you know, I like, you know, like now there's a lot of space. Like this feels like mm -hmm. a lot of space, and the living rooms are pretty big too. So. Mm -hmm. And, you know, compared to a Brumby Russell Creswell, which I know are really popular, yeah, um, this is a lot of space. People. Yeah, <laughs> it's, yeah. A, it's a lot. Um, you know, it, it's comparable to any apartment you would see um, off campus as well. So yeah, it's a great option. Yeah, and that's one of the great things about living on campus is that there are so many different options. So if you're someone who's looking for that traditional double with community bath style, we've got it. If you want more of an apartment style. We've also got that. If you want a suite style where you want to have a roommate but you want to have your own bathroom, we've got that too. So uh, there's a lot of different options for you to choose from at, when you're coming in as a first year student, but also if you choose to live with university housing past your first year, there's a lot of different options. So yeah, very nice. Well, once we get on this first floor, uh, I'm going to ask uh, Carrie if you can tell us where people can find more information about Busby Hall. Um, we'll wait until we get back into the main lobby because it's a little echoey in here. But yeah. Perfect. All right, so we are back where we started in the main area, the little main atrium. Hi, how are ya? <laughs> um, and we're going to stop right over here. So Carrie, if people have additional questions about Busby Hall, floor plans, uh, rates, you know, What's around here? Bus stops. What are some ways that they can find out more information? Yeah, so the housing website is going to be your best option. That's the best place to start. Um, you'll go to housing.uj.edu, click on Explore Options, find Busby, either Busby or Busby Expanded, whichever mm -hmm. one you are. You'll know you're expanded if you have two letters mm -hmm. after your room number. So if you're 315 AB, you know that's an expanded space because it's got two room. That A is one roommate and B is another roommate. So um, look there. Look on the right of that page online, you can click and see your exact floor plan. Like I said, there's a lot of different floor plans, um, not just two, three, four bedroom, but like within there, there's a lot of variation as well. So it's a great option. And if you have additional questions about Busby, I would call um, the community office. Um, Emily is um, there to help you. Um, those numbers are listed online, uh, so she can get you any additional information you may need about your future home. Yeah, absolutely. And don't forget, we're also on social media, so you can follow at UGA Housing for general housing news, and then specifically the East Campus Village community also has an Instagram page. So definitely look out for them, especially as we have more programming. Um, but thank you guys so much for watching. Have a great rest of your day, and go dogs! <laughs>